Hello you guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name is Lauren. It's Tuesday night after work and I'm starting off a vlog. It's kind of random, but I just wanted to pick up my camera and start like a mini work week in my life, I guess. I don't know why, <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to. So that's what we're gonna do, it's Tuesday, so I'll just carry on the vlog through the rest of the week. I just got home from work. I'm about to sit down and start editing a video. This week I've just, I've just, a lot of stuff has shifted and I now work out in the mornings. I started doing that yesterday. I feel great, I have tons of energy. I started making like protein coffee after, I don't know, just like a lot of stuff I've incorporated. And I just wanna take you along on like a little mini work week of my life. I feel like I do videos that are super structured to each day, like I'm always doing a work week of my life, but it starts like Monday morning, right at Monday morning. And weekend of my life, so then they start Saturday morning, right at Saturday morning. Super unplanned video, but we're just, gonna go with it. So I just got home. I went to Target after work and I picked up some tea and body wash and stuff like that. But I am such a huge tea drinker at work. It's, it's crazy. I drink only decaf tea. I drink about four cups of tea that are this big a day and I'm constantly switching up the tea that I'm drinking. So I picked up more of the traditional medicinals everyday detox tea. This one is probably one of my favorites. I also love peppermint tea. It's just incredible for after like a meal or anything like that. If your stomach's upset, if you're bloated, peppermint tea is incredible. So I always keep that on hand. But I also love this everyday detox tea. I love turmeric tea. All that stuff i feel like i'm constantly just drinking it all day long so i go through tea a little bit quicker these days so i picked up another box of this probably one of my favorites um i also got a package in from the bar and um it's a clothing brand if you didn't know and i'm really excited about this because this is like one of my birthday gifts my birthday is next week and I turn 27 and I cannot believe it. I do not feel like I'm 27, but this was one of my birthday gifts from Christian. So I don't know if this item is still available. Their stuff sells out really quick, especially the varsity crew neck sweatshirt situations. Those sell out so quick. You almost have to be on the site right when they restock them. So if you are interested in getting one of these sweatshirts, what I would do is follow the bar on Instagram. I'll link it down below, or you can follow Bridget, who is the owner of the bar. Um, I'll link her Instagram down below. She restocks quite frequently, like maybe like every few months. So if you're interested, I know it's summertime, but I just, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. This is it. It just says the bar on it. I think what this means, it's not like, the bar where you go out and drink. You know how you say like set the bar high? I'm the bar, I'm the high bar. You, you get what I'm saying? So this is it and you know what's funny? I'm wearing green and white pants today. Oh, it's so funny. But um, I got it in an extra large this time. I have it in a large, I'll grab that one, but I got it in white and green. This is a new colorway that they just release and if you don't know, I'm literally obsessed with green. This is the other sweatshirt that I have. And they all say the bar just like this. I have this in a large and I got it in the gray. So I've had this for a little while. They're just really great quality crewnecks and I'm just super into crewnecks. They're just really easy, comfy. I'm all about that. But yeah, I wanted to show that. I'm probably about to do a hair mask. It is hair wash day if you couldn't tell by the slick hair so i'm probably gonna do like an olaplex hair mask edit a video and then wash my hair um and then i'm gonna cook dinner with christian but i'm gonna eat my little snack i have like carrots and hummus that i didn't eat at work i didn't have time but you know what's funny these are actually carrot sticks that i cut up and i snack on carrots and hummus basically like every single day and i cut them up into little bite-sized pieces so i'm not like crunching on a carrot in the office if that makes sense like i don't want everyone to know that i'm eating carrots and hummus 
by like me like biting down on a carrot so i cut them up so no not everyone hears me um chewing so i'm gonna eat this i'm probably gonna put a hair mask in i'm gonna shower wash my hair and then i'll be ready to cook some dinner welcome back to another video this is what we're cooking for dinner got these from costco and then I'm making one of my favorite salads. Christian and I made it a few weeks ago in a vlog and I've been obsessed with it. So it's just lettuce, romaine, or like spinach or spring mix, red onion, cucumber. I'm about to chop up some tomato and then some of these sweet peppers. And then you can put um, Parmesan cheese on it. And this is the dressing that I use, the apple cider vinegar dressing by the Bragg brand. Okay, here is dinner, just the big salad with all those toppings and this dressing, like I said. And then what I've been dipping the meatballs in is this, it might be weird, soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's. And it's really good and it just adds a little sauce to the meatballs. Wednesday. I just feel really good and full of energy. I love working out in the mornings. It's crazy what it does for your energy and just your mood. Um, I had my protein coffee. I showed you that, what I've been doing in the mornings after my workout. I don't have enough time to eat breakfast at home, so I'm bringing it with me. It's just like a yogurt bowl with fruit and granola. And then I brought a snack. We are actually going out to lunch today. I don't even know what to call this company. I guess like a vendor. I don't know if we currently use them. With me being super new to the job, I don't know all the companies that we work with firsthand. With the travel industry, we obviously work with a lot of companies and we partner. You bring in those clients to those companies. So it's important to have those strong relationships, especially with really great companies so that way you both have like a really great partnership and you're bringing in clients which in return is making you both money let's be honest so we have a vendor i guess i'm gonna call him a vendor i really don't know the proper term and i'm sorry um and the vendor is taking the team to lunch today at 60 vines i don't know if i'll be able to get any clips because i obviously want to be respectful i've never met this company before so um yeah that's what's going on so i'm wearing a blazer because um, we are a luxury travel concierge company, so I need to represent a luxury travel agency, if that makes sense. So, fun little day lunch opportunity out. I am also getting my hair done today, just a partial. I get probably my full head dyed every six months, so probably like two to three times a year, and then I just get partials like the other times. So it's, I'm not technically due for my hair to be done yet. It's only been six weeks. I usually wait about eight to 10, but since I'm celebrating my birthday this weekend, I want my hair to be fresh. Yeah, that's basically what's going on today. It 
it's after work. I just left the hair salon. Let me turn my car on. I just got a partial done. Then I just left with my hair wet because I don't need to blow dry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to work tomorrow and I didn't want the extra heat on my hair. I'm gonna go pick Christian and I up some dinner. We're gonna, I look crazy. <laughs> wet hair um but i'm gonna pick christian and i up some dinner i think i'm gonna get some jersey mike's subs for dinner this morning I was up really late last night editing a video and getting it ready to go to post this morning which I posted so I'm like kicking myself for staying up so late doing that but I wanted to get it up I've been really good about posting every five days so I've just been wanting to stick to that schedule but sometimes it's really hard like I have to stay up late to edit and um now that I'm waking up a little bit earlier in the morning to get a workout in, it was hard to get up this morning, but I got up, I got the workout in, I feel really good. Changed and got ready for work. I'm gonna bring my breakfast to the office and just eat it there because I'm not like super hungry right in the morning, but I get that protein coffee in. So at least I'm getting something in my system because I'm not used to eating breakfast this early. But um, even with my old job, I would wait till I got to work and I would eat breakfast there. But it's Thursday. I am going over to my dad's house and my whole family is getting together tonight to celebrate my birthday. I don't know if you guys know this. I've mentioned it before, but I have a twin brother. So we're celebrating my twin's birthday with me and then my sister's birthday, my younger sister. Her birthday was almost two weeks ago. So we're like two weeks apart on birthdays and she's two years younger or almost two full years younger than me and my twin brother. So we're all celebrating our birthdays today after I get off of work. Okay, I'm gonna put on some earrings and maybe like a necklace and then we'll head to work. I just got home from work and I'm about to change and get ready to go to my dad's house to celebrate my birthday with my family. But I got some exciting packages in. Let's start with this one. So in my last vlog, I showed that I got some high top Converse and they were actually kind of big and I went off the size of my non-platform high top Converse and I got the same size as them and I don't know if it was the fact that they're platform that made them look so big, but they were way bigger than my other ones. So I'm kind of hoping that these fit because I went a whole size down. They're so cute. So I'm excited about those. And then, I'm so excited about this. I got a set from Set Active and it's in this just gorgeous green color. So here is the top. Um, I got my regular size that I normally get. Pretty sure I got an extra small in both. And then I got the biker shorts. Definitely check it out, I'll link it down below. But I'm gonna quickly go and change and get ready for my dad's and we'll be celebrating my birthday.
I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru right now because I really want to try that new drink that I haven't tried yet that's been out for so long. It's like the chocolate one. So I'm trying that today because it's Friday and I thought why not? It'd be fun. I went to the post office this morning and the reason I did is because I had to unfortunately return that sports bra that I got yesterday. It runs really small in my opinion and so thank goodness they had a size small available. I got an extra small for reference and honestly I wear an extra small in the other Sculpt Flex materials or styles by Set Active and I think this one kind of runs a little bit different and doesn't have that like stretch. They already shipped me out a new one so I'm excited that they had it in stock. So if you're thinking about getting it, definitely size up in my opinion. So I returned that, a new one's on its way. I am so proud of myself. I worked out every single day this week. I set a goal for myself to work out in the mornings and I'm proud that I just woke up every day and went and worked out in some way shape or form so I'm really proud of myself um, and I really have been enjoying it I also scrubbed off my whole entire self tan last night and then I'm gonna reapply a self tanner tonight which is the usual routine that I do and I totally forgot what the drink was called for a second I was like do you have that new drink okay got the drink she says that there's pumps of vanilla in the drink, which I get why people think that might be really sweet. So let's try it. I think I really like it. I'm so annoying. I feel like I like everything. I'm just like, oh, it's so good. 10 out of 10. Christian always gets mad at me. He's always like, you always think everything's so good. And it's like, well, it is. <laughs> it is on the sweeter side, I do have to admit, but I also wasn't expecting it to taste like this. I would probably still order the like regular sweet cream cold foam one over this, but I think it's really good for what it is. Okay, I just got home from work. I'm so excited that it's Friday and I have a three day weekend, which is just incredible and I definitely need it. But I'm about to put on a few layers of self tanner. So I wanted to go ahead and end off this random week in my life, work week in my life, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to pick up the camera probably tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.